What's up guys, it's Coach Red from Palace Synergy and first off, sorry for not posting any videos as of late, just been really busy since they opened up the waterways, um, been training folks on the water, so been pretty much, that's been where all my time has been going, but I want to make sure that I still get content with that to you guys, um, so today is going to be a workout tip, paddling tip, however you want to call it, but I wanted to say, first shout out, I want to say that this Workout tip is brought to you by Hippo Stick. Um, you can take a look uh, at Hippo Stick paddles at hippostick.com. This here is the OC uh, Tahitian blade. They have also another type of uh, OC1 blade, which is the, the heart attack. Um, really phenomenal blades. Check them out. Get, if you have them, grab them. Um, they're really, really solid. And I, I particularly uh, love mine. And this one is uh, Danny Ching's. I stole it from him, he'll never get it back. <laughs> okay, anyway, so uh, today is going to be about understanding a certain component of the stroke, or really more so the whole aspect of the stroke, I should say, not just a component. So what this exercise is going to do is going to help you understand where are you placing your weight, how are you managing your weight. So what I call this exercise is called tippy-toe, tippy-toe heel. And I'll demonstrate this, and then I'll talk about it a little bit more. So what I mean by that is, I'm going to get up on my tippy toes, and at the same time, I'm going to pick up. When I pick up, I'm picking up with my wrist. So I'm picking up with my wrist and my elbows. I'm not picking up with my shoulders. I'm not picking up with my, with my upper body just yet. I'm first picking up with my, my wrist and then my elbows. And then I'm going to uh, try to lift with my upper back. Note that I said that upper back. So I'm going to squeeze my upper back. I'm not going to bring my shoulders up. I'm not just going to come up like so, I'm going to just squeeze my upper back, okay? Let's get that good posture. So first I'm going to do tippy toe, going to bring my belly button into the spine as well. We're also going to work on engaging my glutes. Now I'm in the position where I'm having to utilize my, my hips to help balance because I've taken my heels out of the equation. And if you suck, this is also a really, really good exercise because really what we want to do when we're supping, we want to try to keep our weight from coming back into our heels or coming back down into, into the board, right? The same thing also with being if you do outrigger. What we want to do is we want to keep our weight from coming back down into the boat. So what we want to do is we want to constantly maintain our weight in a forward momentum, using our weight to keep that boat or that board forward and keeping it if you're supping. You want to keep the feet. You want to keep the weight relatively around ahead of your toes, or at least uh, at least in front of your ankles. You never want to get back down. And at the same time, as far as your outrigger, you don't want to get your weight back into the seat. You don't want to get that weight to come out and slow you down because that's like you bracing the boat, right, and then stopping, right. So here, what this is going to do is going to teach you first. You're going to go tippy toe, tippy toe, and then heel. And at the same time, as I drop my heels, I'm bringing the blade. As, as I drop the heels, I'm not just dropping and plumping either. What I'm doing is I'm controlling the movement. And by the time I feel my heels, I'm going to come right back up. I don't want to feel the weight, my whole entire weight, coming back into, the, into that back heel of mine, right? I don't want that. Don't want that because that's just going to tell me that I'm now I'm, I'm hitting the brakes, right? But our, our weight's coming back into the, into, the, the crap, into the crap whenever we do the stroke. So... We, it's going to happen. We just got to mitigate that, right? So here, you're going to go tippy-toe, or I want you to work on is picking up, picking up with your wrists and elbows, squeezing that upper back, okay? And then keeping your shoulders relaxed, bring your hips out, hands out. Now you want to feel your lats and your shoulders. You're really feeling it right here. I want you to hold it here on your tippy-toes, and then slowly bring your heels down at the same time bringing the blade, okay? So again, tippy-toe. Tippy toe, heel, tippy toe, tippy toe, heel, tippy toe, tippy toe, heel, tippy toe, tippy toe, heel. Now, one of the things that this is representing is that when you drop your heels down and you're initiating the stroke, if you're in the water, you're putting that load, your weight is now on the blade, right? And by the time that blade comes back down to that point, you want to really start thinking about picking it up because at that point, it's going to meet that weight. It's going to meet your hip, and if that if that weight and that hip and that hip meet, right? That's why we want to exit. If you go long, we want to exit at the hip. Sometimes you want to exit mid thigh. Sometimes we want to exit at at our knee. And if depending if you're sub, you just want to as soon as you feel that load, you want to take it right out, right? Depending on the situation. But in in 
in the long game aspect of things, right? Or when we want to find rest, but we don't want to slow the boat down or the board down, we've got to go long, right? So here, tippy toe, heel, and by the time it gets to that point, this is where you usually would say if you're in suck, you'd probably want to take it out when that blade is right, probably around here, and your bottom hand is right here. And then the outrigger, you always say about, some, some folks say, exit at mid thigh. I like to say, think about exiting out by the hip, because this is more like gear three, this is gear four, but this is my time to really get my breath and really throw it up. If I'm, if I'm fighting somebody, I'm exiting out of here, maybe even exiting out of here. But if I'm just finding my rhythm, I'm exiting out my hip. But again, I'm doing so mind, being mindful of my weight is going to come back into my hip because if now it's on the blade, but as soon as right here, and then I want to get ready to pick it up. So tippy toe, tippy toe, heel, tippy toe, tippy toe, heel, tippy toe, tippy toe, heel. Now, you may find yourself doing something more, right? This is really just to give you a nice idea of what it is that your muscle memory is making, is, is having you do. If you don't put thought into it, what I find, what I found with a lot of paddlers that I work with, be it sub or outrigger, they come up, they set, and then they drive down, right? Huh, notice that everything's going down, right? If you go down, well, guess what? You're gonna drag. And what's gonna happen is you're gonna drag your hands, you're gonna get past your body, and now your weight is like this, and then you come up. Oh, if you're my competition, keep doing that, all right? <laughs> Not saying you can't go fast, it's just that I'm going to be a happy chap you as, a, as if I walk by you. I'm going to be a happier guy than you are, right? Because you're going to be miserable. You're driving your weight. Right? Too much, right? So again, think again. You're going pick up, tippy toe, getting tall, belly button and spine, engaging the core, engaging your glutes, lifting that up with your upper back. Tippy toes, still on your tippy toes as you set the blade. Now you really feel your glutes, and you really feel your lats engage, and then you drop your heels and drop the hand. But make sure when you drop the heels, you're not just putting your weight back in, right? But that's a no-no. We don't want that. We want to do it with control. So when I go tippy toe heel, I'm still, I'm still being mindful. Even if I'm bringing my heels down, I'm trying to milk my tippy toes as much as I can as I bring that blade back into my hip, right? So tippy toe, tippy toe, heel, tippy toe, tippy toe, heel. Now we're gonna do it one fluid motion. Woo! Now again, this is just to help you build good muscle memory, okay? Try it out. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Tell me if you find if you found yourself doing something, if you're doing excessive movement, doing more than you need to. If you're doing more than you need to, that creates excess. That's what we call excessive movement. <sighs> Cause passive drag, which in turn creates active drag. As a water coach, you don't want excessive movement. As a paddler, you don't want excessive movement. You just want to get enough movement to make the boat and the board go that direction. Again. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up either here on the comments below or through social media. Again, check out hippostick.com. Check out what blades they have. If they have them on stock, get them while you can, guys. It's definitely a seller's market right now. Everyone's buying because obviously OC6 season, unfortunately, is on hiatus. And so everybody and their mother is buying OC1 blades and OC1 canoes, which is great for those folks out there in that industry. So support them. And again, um, if you have any questions, oh, and also, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I already said if you already had questions like three times. Okay, guys. Have a great day, guys. Take care.